we are now ready to conclude our chapter 8 video lectures. We're going to enter some additional bills, create some additional sales invoice, remit some payments, and prepare some reports. Okay? So we're on page 412, and we're going to enter some bills. We get on page 412. So again, I'll go to my expenses tabs. I'll click on bills. I know what they're already. I'm just going through the process. Go to the add bill button, create bill. And our first vendor is going to be NT, not NT, that's not a word. Anytime deployment. Anytime deployment. Your bill date is going to be 118. The bill number is going to be ATD 510. The category, we're doing network products, but the quantity should be 20. Total invoice amount should be $500. So they got the shipping terms. Do we see shipping terms on here? We okay. We got the bill date and the credit terms. All right. So we have some more bills to enter. I want to click on save and new. And turn to page 413. For our next bill, it's going to be for Klaus Channel. It's our vendor. The date would be 119. Term should be net 30. The bill number is going to be CZ333. Don't forget to put, it, to put in your bill number. The item is going to be four of the web server for a total cost of two. I'm sorry, total cost of $800. So that's already there from our previous transaction. They just kept in the system. So I'll click on Save and New and turn to page 4. I'm going to skip page 414 for a second because that's a sales invoice and 415 is a bill invoice. So if you don't mind, I'll come back to the sales invoice. So now that I'm under my bill invoice, I'm going to go to Conference Call. Nope, don't want any pop-ups. Go away, please. Let's go to conference calls. And this is on page 415. The date is going to be 123. Bill number is going to be 246CC. It's going to be your bill number. The product is going to be the webinars, but it's going to be six of the webinars. For a total bill amount of $270. So now I'm going to click on save and close. And enter my sales invoices, not sales receipts, but my sales invoices beginning on page 414. Okay, so if you just, I'm about to go to my plus new and click on invoice. You can went through sales and do the same thing. So we're going to create a new invoice beginning on page 414. Our customer is going to be eBiz. There's eBiz. Terms are net 30. Invoice date is 123. Invoice number should be 1040. That's all there. We're going to scroll down. The product is going to be the data storage. The quantity is going to be 6. For a total amount of one hundred and eighty dollars.
So confirm your invoice amount as being total of 180. Okay. So we're good with that one. So we'll click on save and new for our next sales transaction, which is on page 416. This will be for the law office. Here we go. The date will be 123, invoice number 1041. The product is going to be network products. The rate is, because of the quantity, would be six for a total of $300. If all checks out, click on Save and New and turn to page 417 for our next sales invoice. For the permanent medical service, date should be 123, invoice number 1042. Now, this one does have sales tax, so the sales tax has been added. The product is going to be webinars. The quantity is going to be three. The sales tax should be $16.47. Total balance due $286.47. Now on 418, there is a bill, but 419 is a sales invoice. So I'm gonna work more on that harder. So I'm gonna click on save and new. And go to page 419 to create my next sales invoice. And I'll come back to page 418 to pay the bill. So my next customer is going to be WellPro. It's my customer, not eBiz. I want WellPro. Thank you very much. The date is going to be 125. Invoice number should be 1043, check. The product is going to be the web server. The quantity is just one, so that's $400. Sales tax should be applied to this invoice for $24.40. Total invoice amount should be $424.40. So now I'll click on Save and Close to conclude my sales invoices. We're going to add in some more bills beginning on page 418. So since this is already up, I'll just click on Add Bill, Create a Bill. We buy a lot from the Ample Store. So our vendor is going to be the Ample Store. The invoice date is going to be 123. Invoice date 123. The bill number is AS352. The product will be data storage, but the quantity should be 12. So change of quantity. The total bill amount should be $180. We have some other bills beginning on page 420. So go ahead and click on your save and new button. Our next bill is for computers to you. Get me on page 420. You having fun yet? I know I am. Computers to you. The date is going to be 1.30. So now it's at the end of the month. Bill number is going to be 422CTU is our bill number. We're going to purchase three computers 
for a total of fifteen hundred dollars so i'll go ahead and click on save and new and turn to page 421 for our next bill which would be for any time deployment is our vendor the date would be 130 bill number is ATD 592 the product is going to be 10 of the network products for a total amount of $250 that will conclude our bills for right now anyway so I'll click on save and close like we're back to some invoices on page 422 we have a sales invoice so I'll click on plus new go to my invoice tab and get on page 422 the vendor is going to be the Springfield School District that's your vendor the date is going to be 130 we have our terms invoice number 1044 check the product is going to be the web server product will be the web server the quantity is going to be one add in your sales tax total invoice amount should equal 425 dollars click on save and new our next actually i'm going to cancel out of here because that was a sales receipts not a sales invoice so now I'll go to plus new and click on sales receipts on page 423 you got to pay attention if it says sales receipt or sales invoice so we got a sales receipt this was a cash sale so i'm going to choose cash sales the date is going to be 130 receipt number 1045 the payment method was by check and there's a check reference number of 14520 the product sold was a computer quantity was one add in your sales tax total sales receipt would total one thousand and sixty one dollars so i'm now going to click on save and close okay so we're now going to remit three payments and create some reports and check our figures and get prepared for the chapter eight homework so i'm going to conclude this video i know i said this was it but that's okay we got a short one i'll conclude this video and then we'll come back and close 